Hello friends, we finally got news of Pokemon Stadium coming to the Nintendo Switch. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. So as we know, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 were announced to be coming to the Nintendo Switch a little while ago now, but we had no concrete dates with when they would be available on the systems. But as of this morning, we've had the announcement that the release date for Pokemon Stadium will be on April the 12th. So a week on Wednesday, we will be able to play Pokemon Stadium on the Nintendo Switch. You can see over on Cerebi, they did a bit of an update with the news here. It has been confirmed that Pokemon Stadium will be made available on the Nintendo Switch on the Nintendo 64 software next week, April the 12th, so not very long at all. This game is available for all people with the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack subscription. This game is the Nintendo 64 game that released in 1999, so very long time ago, and has you battle through various mods as well as play mini games, which is one of the best aspects of the games in my opinion. The big bad caveat to all of this is though that Nintendo have kind of doubled down on some news that was a little bit concerning the first time around when the initial trailer dropped and now they're kind of reiterating the point that you will not be able to transfer Pokemon into these games. Now there is a part of me that thinks that this is just normal because at the moment Although it's suspected, we haven't got red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal, uh, ruby, sapphire, and emerald confirmed coming to this online subscription, right? So it wouldn't make sense for them to say, yes, you can transfer Pokemon in because it kind of lets the cat out of the bag. It, it kind of hints that these games are coming. And if they want to do a big announcement, a big reveal, kind of hype up the fact that these older games are coming finally to the Nintendo Switch, then that news would kind of hint at that and maybe they don't want to do that. So I wouldn't discount it fully down the road that we will be able to transfer Pokemon into these games because I think the big thing about Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2, is the fact that you can trade in your Pokemon to these games to play with them in the gym battles and all the other facilities that are in these games. That's a big feature about it. Otherwise, you're kind of left using rental Pokemon, which are not probably the best Pokemon you want to be using and kind of takes a little bit of the fun away. So. That would be my take on it. I think that somewhere down the line, if we get red, blue, and yellow and all the older games kind of confirmed for the Switch, this might change. There might be compatibility there, although we'll have to just wait and see. And on the back of the announcement, we also got an update for a little trailer as well for the stadium games. And I think you've probably seen it before. Ooh, the video is unavailable. And the interesting thing about this news as well, there was a video linked to this, but unfortunately it is literally like minutes ago just being taken down. I was going to play through it, capture the point on the video where it does go through and say Pokemon will not be able to be transferred into it, but it looks like the video itself has actually been taken down, which is quite interesting because it was there. I watched it right before recording this video. Um, so interesting that there is nothing there at the moment about the Nintendo Switch and you can see on all of the sites that it's been featured on that this video is not appearing at all. And I'm just coming over to the Nintendo Switch Online page just to see if there's any updates here but it's still listed as upcoming games. There's no update about Pokemon Stadium on here or anything like that but very strange that the video has went down and it'll be interesting to see what the video looks like if it does when it finally does go back up because I have no idea why it has been taken down because there didn't seem to be anything um, other than what we'd seen before in the first trailer there just seemed to be an updated text with the Pokemon not compatible or be able to be transferable into these games in that video and a little bit of a shame that I can't actually show you it here but that is the news of course we are going to be getting Pokemon Stadium on the expansion pass plus remember is the plus subscription where you get the N64 with Pokemon Stadium next Wednesday so that will be the 12th so like I say as well I think the fact that we haven't got any of the old games on the Switch yet or an announcement that they're even coming to the Switch they may not even end up coming to the Switch so this might just be a null point but I think once they are announced, if there is possibilities to transfer from those games into Pokemon Stadium, then this statement might be reversed and you may be able to transfer Pokemon in. You just got to keep your fingers crossed because it is one of the big appeals of these games. Anyway, friends, that is everything for today. If there's any further updates on Pokemon Stadium or if there's any news going on off that video that has been taken down weirdly, which I 
don't really get why we'll do an update on the channel and let you know everything all about it so thank you so much for tuning in if you found today's video useful please drop a like do subscribe to the channel and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye